Hey guys, welcome back. I'm playing on Apex by Shale Sonnen. Now, this is an interesting one because I actually found this last night with a few friends while we were streaming. So, this is actually not a new map at all. This is over a year old and this is actually one of the ones that slipped by me. Now, this happens quite often. Sometimes I'll come across a map and I'll think, I've never seen this before because I can't expect to see every single map that's ever made. Because sometimes they don't post them on the workshop or... Maybe it's just one that was on the official forums and I just missed it. But this one in particular I really did like. There's a huge amount of detail in this one. And I found out exactly why I missed it in the workshop. It's quite simply because it's got one photo displaying it and it's a really bad one. So, before we have a really good look around, in fact I'm going to keep that bloat alive because he's nice and slow. So, if you actually make a map, then have loads of photos of all of the best parts of your map. Just put tons of photos in there, like at least 10 or something like that. Because there is absolutely nothing wrong with putting loads in. Hey, even put some videos in there if you want. Alright, so, let's actually start having a good look around. He says as soon as he gets vomited on. Alright, so, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look around each different building here, because there's three main buildings to this map, as we've found out. So, it kind of reminds me of um, Unreal Tournament. Remember the map Morpheus from Unreal Tournament 1? That was an interesting one. So, that's why it's called Apex, but believe it or not, there's actually, like, what, five floors to these buildings? So, let's check them out, hopefully before, you know, Mr. Vomit Face gets over here. But yeah, there is loads of detail, lots of clutter all over the place. The lighting's really well done, and it's just generally an interesting map, so I suggest you try it out. Now, the thing about the different floors is a lot of them is basically me doing this, which is just walking down stairwells. So, it is a lot of travel, but it is very realistic in the fact that, you know, these are kind of like realistic building floors, you know? It's all sorts of stuff. It's not like there's blank walls all over the place. There's doors that are all, all blocked off. I mean, hell, if Zeds came in, people would always try and block off their doors, right? And of course, multiple floors link to other floors in other buildings, but we're going to do it building by building. So, hey, here we go. You ready? Let's see if we can get by without... Okay, getting at least too much on us, right? But you know what we can do? Yeah. Just leave him there for a couple of minutes. I just hope he doesn't turn into a different Zed, because believe it or not, that is a thing that happens. Alright, let's keep going. But yeah, as I said, a lot of these are basically just different floors, and you might think it looks kind of plain, but still we've got lighting here, we've got random clutter, just bits and pieces that just happen to be around, and there's also doors that we can't go through. That might seem a bit odd, but when it comes to map making, some people think, oh, a door, that means people have to go through it. Not necessarily. A door that you can't get through is detail, and it makes something look realistic, it makes it look good. But yeah, these are just sort of different types of rooms that have just been used for something and are just now, well, Zed's turned up, so problems, you know? Right, so that's this building done, and this is the Apex building, and then there's... Oh, actually that's a good point, I'm not entirely sure what building we're in now. It's actually quite easy to lose your place here, but it is certainly fun to fight on. Like, I've actually fought on this building now a couple of times. Preferably, I like to fight on the rooftops simply because there's a lot more space, there's a lot more vision. So when it comes to shooting Zeds, it's exactly where you want to be. But that's just my preference. There's all sorts of buildings all over the place. There's all sorts of areas all over the place that you could actually go around and actually do all your fighting on. But yeah, I mean here, like it looks like someone was in the middle of doing something, dropped their torch, seeing Zeds, and ran for it. It's very interesting. And of course, it seems like we can't break any of the. Uh, the lights, but just the sort of thing to check. Now, that bloke's still around here somewhere, and oh, we're on the rooftop, right. Okay, so we were here earlier, you can kind of tell, but here we've got some sort of generator, not entirely sure what it is, but it's interesting. Certainly lots of interesting detail here. Now, hang on, where did we go? Right, okay, back outside. So, this is where we were before. This is where I got vomited on, so I kind of missed this bit, but. Here, we've even got, like, um, damaged bits and pieces here and there. And, of course, there are the buildings outside here. Because, of course, with this being a very outside map, when it comes to the out-of-map detail, as in 
What I mean by that is areas where you cannot go to, but you can just look at. You still bloke? Good. You can actually see all sorts of stuff, and there's bits of paper in the air, and there's burning buildings. There's other skyscrapers and stuff. Alright, so I think what we've actually done is we've actually explored two of the buildings here, but we're going to double check. We're going to make sure we've actually explored everywhere we can, and then we're going to... Well, we're going to get on to eventually making our way to the boss, so... Let's actually have a look at the Apex building. This is where you spawn in. So, of course, I actually started here and made a bit of a mess, you know, as I tend to do, but... Oh, I'll take that. And, of course, I'm pretty sure you can actually fall out of these buildings, so... Yeah, let's let's not give that a go. Sometimes I have this really bad habit of going, Can I kill myself doing this? Oh, yes, I can. Whoops. So, let's have a look down here. Again, we've got an interesting type of stairwell here, but at least the same kind of thing. All sorts of damage. Base this place is wrecked. Did I actually do some of this? I actually don't think I did. If you look, there's blood all over the place, but there's no Zed bodies. I don't think they'll have despawned yet, so... Yeah, interesting. And HZ Inc. That's supposed to be Horzine. That's the Horzine building over there. Could be why some of the Zeds actually made it over here, but we'll see. And of course, yes, there are more doors around here to weld. And very interesting elevator shaft, which doesn't actually work, but it would be interesting if it did, I have to say that much. And of course, here's another thing that I do like. Here's an entire room that's been fully designed, and you can't go in it. But it's okay, it's interesting detail. Like, not all of these extra doors that I keep talking about are just shut. Some of them are semi-open, but you still can't go in because it's blocked off. Ah, I see, you didn't use the door, huh? Okay, so, I think we've just about shown everything, because it's a large area of the map, but as I said, a lot of the map is actually just stairwells. A lot of it is actually this top area here, which I think is quite nicely done, so... Here we go! Uh, I'm not entirely sure if you can actually jump on some of these. I mean, I mainly spent my time fighting around here. Oh yeah, you can probably go on there, but... Uh, Let's not test fall damage, because that's something I have a nasty habit of getting really, really wrong, so god. You alright there? You're gonna, uh, you're gonna use the stairs, or are you coming up here? Oh, he's coming up here, okay. Right. See you guys next wave. So, I was wondering... Remember when I was looking down a second ago, having a look at that little, that little bridge? I can't find my way to get to it at all. Oh, I'll take that. But that's really interesting, because not only are there multiple bridges that we're supposed to be able to use, there's also a bridge down there that we're not supposed to use. So it goes to show that there's some extra detail there in that there's multiple ways to get around, but some areas are blocked off and some areas aren't. I quite like that. It's quite an interesting one. Okay, right. So we're going to be using the last shots in this gun before we actually go move on to uh, something a bit more interesting. But yeah, this is where we did all of our fighting when we last played, and this is probably where I'm going to do most of my fighting now. But of course, part of what I do is actually have a good run around while I fight as well, so we're going to be doing some of that. And eventually we will fight the boss up here, because it is a good boss area, I'll say that much. Quiet you. Oh god. This is the bit where you realise that I'm actually recording this, like, pretty much one of the first things I did when I got up today was I had my breakfast and now I'm doing this, which means I'm also half asleep, so... You know. I kind of bring these sorts of things on myself, which is also one of the main reasons why I play on normal difficulty and on short, because... The last thing I want to do is panic about the Zeds when I'm also trying to do a map review, so... Hey, there you go. Where is our trader, by the way? That's a curious one. I tend to find that that's actually a very difficult way. Like, seriously, I wonder how to get to there. Because you go down a floor, and then you go down, like, two floors, down to, like, the ones down there, and it's... It's confusing, okay? You know what? Have one of those. You'll love it. Or maybe you won't, you know. Ooh! Now, is that the same... I think that is the same one. I did not know you could jump down, though. Hello. Well, there you go. We're learning more things about this map as we go. But that is a very interesting way to get down. Just going down all the elevator shafts. Oh god. And now we can't see anything. 
Right, okay, well, time to get to our trader then, I guess. So, fortunately, my route to the trader did actually show me something. And I do think I actually went to this room, but then I think I actually turned around for some reason. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, this was exactly where I was thinking before. So you can actually get here. Oh well. I guess that uh, kind of debunks my thought about um, interesting other potential ways to get around, but also that's an interesting way to actually block the door. You put a gigantic ladder in there. But yeah, let's, let's check out this stairwell. After all, we've got the right weapons to do so. There we go. Both barrels for you, you bastard. Alright. Whereabouts does this lead us to? Because I know for certain now that I have actually explored the entire map, so there is that. Ooh, body armor. I'll take that. I am kind of stuck in a corner here. Oh, I heard that. Oh, this is where the torch is. Okay. There you are. Let's go somewhere with a bit more space. Excuse me. Nice try. Nice try. Didn't like that, huh? How about that? Or that? There we go. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Now, before he gets a bit angry having seen me, because in case you didn't know, that's how they get angry. You either shoot them or they see you, and ten seconds after they see you, they rage. Time for the next wave. So yeah, there are all sorts of things I find out about this game over time, but... This is definitely an interesting map, lots of detail. Especially with the outer map areas, so... I think that's... Ooh, it's even birds as well. I was gonna say, this just about all the things I can think about to say about this map, but yeah, now I've seen some birds as well. Guess I didn't really look up too much, huh? Alright, so now we're basically gonna be blasting our way to the boss as fast as we can, and then, yeah, let's get a bit of gameplay out of this. But of course, you know... Oh, I was standing a bit too close, wasn't I? That's disgusting. Come on, where are all the Zeds at? That is the thing about maps like this, is there's all sorts of places the Zeds have spawned, which are quite close, except there are like a floor below, which means they've got a lot of walking to do before they even get anywhere near me. Okay. Now, husks have recently become a real problem of mine. I just don't like them. They're always really far away shooting at you. And for those of you who have played versus mode, you'll know how, uh... Yeah, how, uh... You can always just sneak up on people and then suicide right behind them when they're not paying attention. For those of you who are wondering what the hell I'm talking about when I say versus mode, you do know there's a mode in this game where you can actually play as Zeds versus other players, right? If you didn't know that, go check it out. Because it's pretty damn good. I know I've had some good fun playing it. It's basically like, if you've ever played Left 4 Dead, you know there's the versus mode on that? It is literally just that. Playing on uh, regular levels, some of you are Zeds, some of you as players play around and then you switch over. Quite interesting. Give it a go. Okay, we got the... Okay, we got the Doctor. And the real question is, as soon as he puts his shield up, can we do enough damage to him so he actually just loses his shield and falls over before he even grabs us? Let's see if we can. Here we go. Alright. Oh wow, yeah, yeah we can. The A12 is ridiculously powerful. I mean, I know I'm level 25, but come on. This is going to be a nice... Oh, that's not him. Okay. So there's random bits of stuff on the floor, and it's like, okay, which bits of... Uh, which bits of scrap are you, and which ones aren't? Come on, come over here. Come on. Oh god, those ones are explosive. And... There we go. Alright, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.